know I think very highly of Reese James. I rate him a lot. I think he, when healthy, is the best right back in world football. And there's been some transfer rumors going around with Real Madrid, with PSG. Now, the more recent rumor has said that Chelsea do not want to sell him. And I don't blame them. Because if I rate Reese James this highly, of course they will. He's from their academy. They just made him captain this season. And I don't really know if he's, what's the word am I looking for? And I don't know if he'd want to leave. So it makes sense that this is the rumor that I'm seeing. But Chelsea have Malo Gusto. Reece James has been injured damn near this entire season. Malo Gusto has looked really good. He looks like a player that's going to be a starter for them in the future. And he plays right back. And with Reece James not being able to stay healthy, I would think Chelsea would look to cash in on him. Now, I'll start with PSG. I believe that Reese James going to PSG makes no sense right now unless they're going to be selling Hakimi because Hakimi plays right back for them. So what would you be buying Reese James for? Hakimi is also young. He's like 25 or 26 years old. Now, I know that Hakimi is also being linked with a move away from PSG. But as of right now, those rumors have died down. So I can't really see that move happening. But what I really want to talk about is Reese James possibly joining Real Madrid. I would love for him to come here. I would love it. He would cook here. Danny Carvajal is not getting any younger. I think that he has maybe one more season before we actually look to replace him. Now, we've been linked to a bunch of right back, right? We've been linked to Trey Alexander-Arnold and Hakimi and Reese James. And out of those three, to me, Reese James fits the profile the best. He has no weakness. He can defend really well. He can attack really well. Can whip crosses in, free kicks can play as a center back, can play as a defensive midfielder as well. He's a really good player. The only thing that holds Reese James back is his injuries. And maybe he's only been injured so much because Chelsea's medical staff are not that good. Look at Usman Dembele. The guy was injured every single day at Barcelona. He sneezed too hard. He was out for a month. At PSG, I don't think Dembele's been injured once this season. And I know that at Madrid... The injuries have been a bit touchy for us this season, right? We've had a lot of guys who went through periods with being injured. I think it's about 30-something injuries that we've had this season. So I'm not saying that our medical staff is the best, but I think you bring Reese James to Madrid. He's playing for the best team in the world. He's going to have his English guy there with Drew Bellingham. I think you can see him get back to his best. And I know why we're looking at a Trent, right? Trent only has one year left on his deal. Obviously, that would be a much easier deal to get done than to go to Chelsea and try to sign their captain. But I just think Trent Alexander-Arnold is so overrated. Yes, going forward, he's fantastic. But defensively, he can't even guard me. I think I'd be able to beat him in a 1v1 situation. Like, Trent defensively is... He's a weakness. He's a chink in the armor. Reese James, you don't have to worry about that. And I think if he wants to leave, if he forces a move, they will sell him. But if he does want to stay at Chelsea, right? And I brought up earlier, he's been there since a kid. They just made him their captain this season. Maybe he does not want to leave. But bro, Reese, if you're watching this, I'm telling you, you come to Madrid, it's going to be nothing but greatness. You're going to take over for Danny Carvajal. You're going to lock up that right-hand side of the defense. You're going to have the opportunity to go forward and attack. You're going to have the opportunity to showcase your skills on a much higher level. You see what happens when players join us and they perform really well. It's different here. Chelsea at the moment are a joke. Like, what? The, what's even the future for them? Is Pochettino going to be their manager? You're not going to have Champions League next season. You're probably not going to even... No, not even probably. You're not going to be in Europe next season. You're only going to have to worry about your domestic cups and the Premier League. But do you really want to waste your career at Chelsea? I get it. You won a Champions League with them. You won trophies underneath Thomas Tuchel. That era was fantastic. But I think maybe now it's time to go. Would anybody blame you for wanting to go to Madrid? I don't care what anybody says. Reese James, to me, the best right back 
in world football. Absolute baller. The only concern with him is the injuries. And I think maybe a change of scenery could do him some good. And his value is only $50 million. Now, with him having four years left on his Chelsea deal, that's going to make it really hard to, to negotiate. But I honestly don't believe that they can look to overcharge. I think at most they can get maybe 60 M's for Reese. But I just don't see the deal happening, man. I just don't see Madrid going in for him. I think they will look at Trent because financially it makes more sense because he only has one left on his deal. You can possibly go get Trent for maybe 30 to 40 million. Who knows? Reese, they're probably going to have to spend 60, maybe even 70. I don't think Chelsea would ask for, oh, no, they probably would want that much because they rate this kid very highly. But Mauro Gusto is there, guys. He can take over for Reese James, sell him to Madrid. But I need Reese to force that transfer through for sure. I would, I would love to see him here. It's my, fa- my favorite right back. I've been saying this for years, ever since he burst onto the scene at Chelsea, and it was the whole Reese or Trent debate. I'm like, how can people actually be picking Trent as a better right back than Reese? Why? Because he can whip multiple crosses into the box? All that Trent does is spam crosses into the box and leave his side of the defense wide open, putting Van Dyke or Joe Gomez or whoever the hell is back there, Kanate, in very awkward situations. Because he's nowhere to be found. Because he thinks that he's a right winger. Reese James can do everything. So, I think it'd be a fantastic move. But I just can't see it happening. But if there is a chance, Perez, make that call for sure. 